The Zoo Fancy S Pro is a slick hybrid device that seamlessly blends the capabilities of a webcam and a document camera. It's more than just a scanner, it's a versatile tool that can be used for a variety of purposes, from business to education to content creation. In this video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the Zoo Fancy S Pro. It's not your average scanner, it's got a 12 megapixel sensor and can be used as a webcam or video camera and scans documents in ultra high resolution. It also has built in LED light on a 90 degree rotating camera, check it out. Alright, let's get this unboxing started. The Zoo Fancy S Pro comes in a slick hinge styrofoam box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. And here we got the scanner itself with a USB data cable with a silicon cable tie, a handy USB A to USB C converter, and a quick start guide. And that's basically everything you need to get started with the Fancy S Pro right out of the box. The quick start guide is easy to follow, and the USB data cable is long enough to give you some flexibility when setting up the scanner. So, this is a pretty cool gadget. It's sleek, lightweight and portable, so you can easily throw it in your bag. I dig it. The Fancy S is basically a webcam with a built-in scanner. It's mounted on an adjustable arm, so you can change the angle and height of the camera to fit your needs. You can even extend the height of the arm by about 6 inches. It's both stylish and sturdy, so it's perfect for both personal and professional use. It's also pretty compact and lightweight, weighing only 820 grams. This makes it super portable, so you can scan documents basically everywhere. There are buttons on the top of the device for quickly changing settings like focus, mirror rotation, autofocus, single focus and manual exposure adjustment and the brightness of the LED light. These buttons make it easy to adjust settings without touching the mouse or software. The device has 12 megapixels camera, a maximum resolution of 4000 by 3000 pixels and 330 dpi. It connects over USB 2.0 but it also comes with a USB-C adapter so you can connect it to newer laptops. The first thing we got to do is install the software to unlock the Fancy S full potential. It's not quite plug and play so you'll need to install the software to get the most out of its webcam, microphone and scanner features. Setting up the scanner is easy, but it took me a few minutes to find a download on the Zoo website. I was expecting to find a big obvious button that said download software, but instead I had to dig around a bit. There's more advanced software available called Zoo ET, but the website suggests the fancy S Pro dedicated software for this particular device. So I clicked on that link and downloaded the software called Zoo Visualizer. It's available for Windows and Mac, so I downloaded both because I want to test it on both platforms. The software is very intuitive and it's pretty easy to use even for beginners like me. I was up and running in minutes. The Zoo Fancy S Pro is a great tool for lectures and presentations. Point the camera at yourself, your notes or an unboxing item. It even has a picture-in-picture -picture function so you can share multiple images from various cameras at once. The microphone quality is ok and the video quality is fine. The camera is trying to autofocus on my face and it consistently finding my face and focusing on it. The autofocus can be turned off with a button on the back of the camera. Right, so this is the quality of the camera and the microphone. It's still better quality than the computer. The only downside is the low frame rates for 4K video or the harsh built-in LED light. Personally, I prefer to turn off the light and use the natural light. It works as a webcam with a built-in light that can be helpful in low light conditions. I turned it off because it was too harsh for me. The camera can be rotated 90 degrees to create content for vertical platforms and you can also change the orientation of the screen in the app. During live streams or presentations, I can highlight any element or use a pointer to draw attention to specific parts of the document. I can also make live notes to annotate the document or to add my own commentary. This is a useful feature for remote classrooms where it can be difficult to engage students without being able to interact with them face to face. I like the adjustable joints, which make it versatile for demonstrations. You can tilt the camera for better visibility of instruments or tools. The camera offers 4K resolution, but I recommend using full HD resolution for better frame rates. 
I think this could be great for creating unboxing videos. It has everything you need, position adjustment, autofocus and light. So let's try it out and do some unboxing video as an example. I had to change the position of the unit to have more space on the table for the actual unboxing. To cover the large area, I had to extend the stand of the fan CS to the maximum. This is perfect. So, let's start the unboxing. As you can see, everything is in focus and well lit. The image quality is good, it's not the professional DSLR quality, but certainly sufficient for this type of the video. It could also be used for live presentations like live unboxings on YouTube or Amazon. Personally, I think it's great. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Right, we've established that the Zoo Fancy S could be an awesome tool for lectures and presentations. You can point the camera directly at yourself or down at your note or an unboxing item. But let's check out the scanning capabilities now. So, let's give the Fancy S Pro scanner a whirl on iMac now. The orange outline that moves as I turn the pages helps the software find the best position to scan the document. This is clutch because it allows me to scan only the necessary parts of the document without having to worry about scanning too much or too little. The auto scan feature is also great as it scans as I turn the pages so I can scan an entire book in minutes. I can scan documents and record videos, the built-in LED light is more than sufficient for scanning in a darkroom and the overall quality of the scanned images is very good. However, the light might be too harsh to use in the webcam mode. To sum up, this is a pretty cool gadget. You can check it out on Amazon. The Fancy S Pro is around $129 US. There are affiliate links in the video description or you can scan the QR code that pops up on the screen right now. You can also visit the Zoo website as they have more specialized devices out there. Please note, I received this product sample for free from Zoo, but all the opinions expressed in this video are my own. Thanks for watching, catch you guys on the next one.